Hello class, I'd like to get everyone's attention before I start. Hello class, I'm Tyler Simons and this is informative speech number two. I'm going to inform you of the history of the SCBA, why and what it's used for, and how to become certified and how to fix it. First off, I'd like to cover the history of the SCBA. First off, SCBA stands for self-contained breathing apparatus. It's what we use to breathe in hazardous areas. The history of the SCBA goes back before the 1800s where firefighters just run into buildings by dipping their beards in the water and just wearing a coat and they thought that would save them. The little did they know smoke inhalation kills people and it goes into your lungs and it gives you cancer and does all, all sorts of bad things for you and it's just brutal. Well a miner by the name of John Roberts in 1824 came up with an idea of a respirator. It's a mask that flows air, clean oxygen air, into your face so you can breathe. He's a miner and he used this with his men and made it up so him and his men could use it while they were digging up the coal and all other. So you currently, the mask and SCBA are being updated constantly always being updated trying to be better you ask what it's used for secondly and why we use it well I'm going to cover two main topics the mask and bottle together and then what atmospheres the mask and bottle are two of the most important types and parts of the SCBA equipment the bottle comes in two forms 30 minute bottles and 60 minute bottles. Self explanatory. The 30 minute bottle is for 30 minutes of air. The 60 minute bottle is for 60 minutes of air. Now, the mask, obviously, the air flows through the regulator into the mask and gives you the appropriate air to breathe. So, that's another really important atmosphere to the whole SCBA. Now, I'm going to cover what atmospheres we wear it in. We got fires, we got rescue operations, we got hazmat, and you got confined spaces. If you ask what a hazmat and confined space are, a hazmat can be anything from a spilt beaker of a chemical that's unknown to a terrorist attack of a chemical agent. We wear it to protect ourselves from the unknown, any burning or irritation that could happen. You never know with chemicals. Confined spaces are a little more dangerous. You never know what's under or in the hole or in the ground you're going into or lowering yourself into, so we always mask up just to make sure. Lastly, I'm going to cover how you become certified and how to fix this equipment. This is really easy. Uh, if you even become certified, you just take a test. All departments have it. It's really easy. Like a 10 to 15 question test covered on a video. They just walk you through how to use it, how to turn it on, basic lights, the modules, everything on the SCBA. How to fix it is a little more tricky. You need to go to a special class which is called an MSA technician course which I currently have one to. And through that class they teach you how to operate and fix a mask, how to take apart a mask to inspect it, and how to do routine and annual inspections to a mask. Once you complete this class you will be able to certify other people into becoming certified trainers, as we call it, train the trainers for this. In conclusion, I have informed you of the history of the SCBA, why and what it is used for, and how it became and how to become certified and how to fix it. I would like to thank you for your time. And I wish all you guys the best of luck on your speeches, and I can't wait to see them. So have a good day, guys. Thank you. This is uh, speech two, informative.